Hello, YouTubers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to P-Dina, Royally Teachable Moments. I hope you did enjoy my Royally Teachable history when I spoke about King Richard III. Please support these videos so that we can try to delve into a little bit more teachable history, okay? And uh, yeah, we're gonna get into a lot of other things around African-Americans and um, those of the black culture who have also married into royalty. There's a whole lot of stuff out there that I did not even know about that I am so excited to share with you all. And yeah, so we're gonna get into it. We're gonna talk about some things and I'm going to let you know, I think some information that I'm hearing from conflicting sources. It looks like Megan is trying to set Harry up to be the fall guy for when she wants to leave this man. She's very calculating and strategic, in my opinion. Yes, it's my opinion. And my opinion usually is right because I've been talking about this for several years and I, I tend to get a, I get a sense and I can hone in on the superficialities of a woman who has followed the trajectory of a life that I once had for myself as a young girl moving to California, wanting to make it as an actress in Hollywood. And she seems to be that same woman that had some luck with marrying a prince who was gonna help get her on the path to her superstardom. But she's starting to see that this path is not really panning out that well for her and she is looking to find a way out in my opinion, so we can already talk about it right now. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what is going on? First, I wanna talk about a couple of stories that I'm seeing, and I keep seeing these stories, and I'm not really thinking this is the truth, I'm thinking that perhaps maybe it's Megan putting stories out there because remember, she too is a source. She is a credible source or her people are for the news stories that they may be putting out there, trying to get people to look this way when really she's looking this way. Oh yes, because that is a way to not be on the path that people can smell you're behind. If she can kind of kind of put her scent to be, you know, on this path and she's and she's throwing people to go this way, people are not going to know it's really her. It's really her doing it because there is a I believe a plan to leave this man, but to leave him in a way that's not going to make her the bad guy. To leave this man to make people think that Harry is suffering. He's not doing well. I'm trying to help him and I just, I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm the wife, I'm, I'm the woman that has to be with this man who is suffering, but how do I show compassion while at the same time have, having complete disdain for the man? How do I show compassion Although I'm really disgusted and thinking, oh my goodness, this man, he ain't got no more money. He don't have no power. How can I get out of this situation that is not really helping me anymore? Well, what do you do? You, you, you kind of make it seem like, okay, the man had lost his marbles. Yes, and this is what I'm gathering from a couple of stories that I'm going to briefly kind of give you a breakdown of. So one of the stories that we're looking at is Harry is expected to move back to the UK. OK, and then the other story is it's talking about how Harry is expected to move back to the UK. Now, we know that he is also a um, yeah, counselor of state. Um, the king has decided to keep him a counselor of state. Um, but in order to be a counselor of state, from what I understand, you need to have a UK residence. Well, we know that they had to give up their UK residence. The king kicked them out there. You know, you no longer have this lease anymore for Frogmore. And perhaps maybe this is a temporary place that he's looking to hold so that he can continue being counselor of state. You know, who knows what the real reason is? But the fact that is so concerning is this story actually in the news. Like who put this out there? Why? Why? 
In a recent development, Harry and Meghan have reportedly extended an olive branch to Prince William amidst its escalating tensions between the royal brothers. According to Daily Express source, they have uh, they have proposed to rent an apartment in, in Kensington Palace and to reconcile with Prince William. But Harry is harboring some concerns over whether or not he wants to go back to being a prisoner, because we all know being a royal family member, living in complete luxury and having servants and being told what you need to do, what you need to not do, you know, that's like living a life of a prisoner compared to what Harry thinks. Because, you know, he don't he don't have a, a right frame of mind to understand that he actually has a life of luxury. OK, so this is why I think he when he get he deserves to get whatever comes his way in terms of his misery, because he doesn't really have a clear identity on what life is really like for the average person. Although he has helped out with people that have so far less than he has, he still can't reconcile in his head that he is a person of privilege. That, that, that's what I can't make out. OK, so the source is going on to elaborate that he is offering to rent an apartment um, at Kensington Palace and to furnish it himself. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's mighty kind of you, Harry. <laughs> You're going to furnish it yourself. That's that's very nice. OK. And he is hoping that. This is going to show William that he's really serious about, you know, coming back, that he's looking to buy a place, you know, back in the UK or maybe even to rent a Kensington um, apartment. Despite his efforts, royal experts are skeptical, skeptical of the possibility of reconciliation between the brothers. And I think that is a very real concern. Um, Sarah Houston, she expressed her doubts in an interview with Sky News Australia. And this is what she went on to say that the damage, the wounds are so deep. It's going to take an awful lot and an awful long time to heal those wounds adding that she sees no evidence of a desire for reconciliation on either side. And yeah, there should be no reconciliation consideration on William's side because the man hasn't done nothing. OK, nothing. The relationship between Harry and William reportedly has deteriorated um, following the publication of Harry's memoir, Spare. And that's really the gist of the story. This is all the story is saying. OK, the other story that has come out is, is that Megan is worried about Harry's emotional state amid prolonged royal rift. Megan has been able to take the, the logical thinking of people who have the power of the pen to put out these blogs and to write for publications that have a lot of eyeballs so that they can kind of you know, make the narrative more aligned with Megan's. This is the article she's seeing about Megan being worried. OK, uh -huh. so deeply concerned about the emotional toll that his ongoing royal rift is taking on her husband. Um, despite public um, declarations amongst criticisms of the royal family, Megan reportedly longs for a reunion. <laughs> for Harry and his father, the king. OK, yeah, right. I don't believe that to be anywhere near the truth because it's also including for Harry to have a reunion with his brother, Prince William. Okay. Okay. So in a recent report, it is revealed that Megan is devastated to witness her husband's emotional distress. <laughs> Woman, you couldn't be devastated if somebody pushed your husband off a cliff. You wouldn't be devastated. I think she'd be like, OK, good. He's gone. I can go into doing what I want to do now. That girl wouldn't be devastated about nothing. OK, she's shown herself to be very cold hearted. OK, so no, she ain't she ain't devastated about nothing. She understands the complexities of their situation, but believes it is time for Harry to focus on their future in Hollywood instead of dwelling on the past. Yes, because Megan, we know, doesn't dwell on the bygones. She wants to keep moving forward. <laughs> she wants to keep moving forward to make her life more aligned with what she wants to do. So what Harry has going on and what he is trying to do is no concern to Megan. OK, now a source close to the couple has shared that it pains Megan. It pains her to see Harry all tied up in knots like this. Oh, my hair. He's just so hurting. 
by all the royal rift, the things that have caused this man to feel so disconnected to his family. She's really distressed about it all, apparently. Um, so this isn't a case of dismissing or minimizing his feelings. This is what the article is saying. OK. But at this point, she really thinks that he needs to pull himself together. You know, look forward instead. Look forward instead of looking backwards, like pull yourself together, man. It ain't that bad. We're going to have a great future together. We don't need those royals. Come on, Harry. Let's let's just be happy. Bygones be bygones. Your family, they can just be go do what they want to do. We got a future to look ahead to. OK, so she's trying to make us believe that she's trying to help her husband to see the, 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 the potential realities of their future. Now, according to the same source, this article is saying Megan is encouraging Harry to remain strong and positive and that they should both embrace their future in Hollywood. Embrace it. Because we know Harry despises Hollywood. He despises the shenanigans. He doesn't want nothing to do with it. But Megan is apparently trying to get this man to think, Let, let's hold it together. We can, we can make this work. Just, this, just think positive thoughts, positivity. Okay, we can make it work. Yes, Kevin, we saw Kevin Costner not too long ago. We can make this work. Okay, come on, Harry. Come on, let's, 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 let's do this. Positivity. Hum. Let's, let's, let's have positivity. She's working him real hard to not dwell on the negativity. That's what she's doing. That's what the article is saying. Megan hopes that Harry will fully embrace the opportunities and the experiences that the entertainment industry has to offer them. Now, let me just tell you something. The entertainment industry, if you're holding out for something good to come out of your life within the entertainment industry, something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you because Hollywood is about Hollywood. Hollywood will eat you up and it will spit you out. There ain't nothing going to come good from Harry embracing a life within Hollywood because, first of all, he doesn't want a life in Hollywood. So what good really could come out of a situation like that? You are deceiving yourself. You are manipulating your mind to think that anything good could come out of this situation because all you're only going to see is really superficial people, people that are going to try to use you for what you can do for them. And we know that Megan is out trying to get what she can from people in Hollywood. So you're going to watch yourself be used by people because who knows, maybe you can do something for them or you're going to watch your wife try to go out and just smile and prostitute her fakeness to the people in Hollywood. Because essentially that's what it is. She is prostituting her fakeness to the people in Hollywood. That's what you have to look forward to, Harry. That's that's your reality. So the recent news that Harry is needing to give advance notice to stay at any royal properties, including Windsor Castle, has further fueled Harry's concerns. He's even more concerned now with the fact that that is now his reality, that he has to actually now give notice when he comes. He can't just show up and say, can I have a place to stay? <laughs> no, you better make yourself known and we will let you know whether or not you have an invitation or the right to even stay here. You're losing privileges, Harry, but your wife wants you to believe that this whole Hollywood thing is going to work out. Just hang on in there. Just hang in. OK, oh, it has also been reported that during Harry's recent visit to the UK, he was denied a room at Windsor Castle to commemorate the anniversary of the Queen's passing at St. George's Chapel. So he further sees his life being diminished and his wife is telling him, hang on, it's going to be OK, Harry. But is he really in in the position to think that his life is going to get better in America? Does is Megan trying to make us believe that Harry somehow is not doing well? Now, really, nobody truly knows yes or no. But the fact that this is a story and that Megan is now the good guy trying to help her husband deal with a very troubling situation lets us know that should these two part ways, she did everything she could to help this man hang in there. She is setting herself up to be the savior 
of her husband who is eventually maybe going to leave or be forced to leave because of what she does to make him not want to stay. Okay, it could go either way because I do not see this man being able to do much more for her. Her wanting to be with Harry is only to show that she's married to a royal, but what more could she get out of him now that she is living in California with the access? Because every time she shows up with Harry, she is smacked down because people want Harry, not her. Remember, Harry was allowed to give the award to Kevin Costner, not Megan. They want Harry. They do not want Megan. Harry is getting in the way to her success. He can't even keep a place in the UK. He doesn't have much clout anymore. He doesn't really provide anything that is going to make her want to still be with this man. So he has lost all his credibility as a prince. So why would she want to continue to stay with him? This is a setup. This is a setup. Uh, if Harry wishes to stay at Windsor Castle during his visit in January, he will report it. Re, he will reportedly need to provide a suitable warning in quote suitable warning. OK, so right there, his power is diminished as a prince. You know, when I you know, when you show up somewhere and you belong there, you can just show up and get what you want. He can't even do that anymore. I know my son who is away in Germany right now, if he were to just show up at my door, I'm not going to say, OK, wait a minute, you didn't let me know you was coming. You cannot stay here. OK, I'm sorry. You got to go. <laughs> I would not do that to my son. Or if he called and, t and told me he was coming, I'm like, OK. But this man has to give a warning if he ever wants to come. Think about that, folks. Think about that. What kind of man who belongs to a family has to give a suitable warning? Everything is showing that Harry has diminished his his power as a prince. Megan is no longer attracted to this man. She is no longer feeling him because she has essentially gotten what she wants. As the bitter royal rift persists, Meghan Markle remains hopeful for the future that Harry can find peace and he can reconcile with his family. I'm sure you, sure, sure you do, Meghan. Sure. <laughs> she loves it because she has it within her own family. This disconnect between Harry's family and Meghan and her family keeps them isolated where she can control everything. She can control it. I can set the tone. I can decide whether or not you will go back to the UK and do X, Y, and Z. I set the tone. Why? Because I've created a disconnect between you and the powers that be that I cannot control. So I do not believe that she really wants this to reconcile. She wants this man eventually to be gone or if he's going to stay keep those that have the power away from her because they would then have control over Harry. And as long as Harry is isolated from his family, she sets the tone. Oh yes. She understands the challenges that they face, but believes that together they can navigate the Hollywood landscape and build a fulfilling life. Yeah. And that's the end of the story, the article. So you tell me who put this story out there. Why is this story in the news? It's a setup, folks. It's a setup for what Megan is planning to do in the future. Because when the time comes for this man to go and she is no longer able to uh, get anything more out of her relationship from this man as we see is starting to deteriorate by his ability to have any power within the royal family he really doesn't hold much weight anymore so she is making her break and she is setting it up right now and i believe these news articles are just trying to get the masses to believe something's wrong with harry it's time for you to go let me live my life now you have served your purpose